Parmesan crusted air fried donkey dongs. You heard that right. Let's dip this in some regular grill your ass off ranch dip. Mm, let's go make this. All right guys, so first things first, we're gonna be taking our donkey dongs and we're gonna be draining the dong juice out of our dong. We're doing it like this in a fine mesh strainer so we can keep the dong juice afterwards because we're gonna be using that in a different recipe. So, but we want all of our pickles, all of our jalapenos. Let this finish draining out. Sometimes you just gotta play with your dongs until they get all juiced out. Now that we got them dry, we're gonna move this over to the side. Come back with a cutting board and some paper towels. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start laying this out. And pat these things nice and dry so they get extra, extra crispy whenever we go to air fry these things. Donkey dongs are phenomenal because they are a bread and butter pickle chip with jalapeno slices. We're gonna get the sweetness, the savoriness, a little bit of spice from the jalapeno, and we're gonna fry it. It's gonna be your new favorite appetizer for any time of the year. It doesn't have to just be on game day. All right, so we're gonna pop off some of these little broken dongs. All right, we're gonna fry it good. Another paper towel, throw this on top. Get all of this dong juice off of them so they're nice and dry our dry dongs. Now it's time to play with our dongs. So before we get started playing with our dongs, we have half a cup of flour. Now we don't want to make this boring plain fried dongs. So we're going to spice this up with our Claymore Cajun seasoning. We're going to add just a little bit, maybe a half teaspoon to a full teaspoon, depending on how spicy you like it. Just to give it a nice little kick. Toss this with a fork, not spill it like I just did. All right guys, so we have our dongs dried off. I have some parchment paper laid out right here so nothing falls in the cracks on our air fryer. And we're gonna be taking flour, egg, and panko breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese. It'd be a phenomenal. Start with your flour, make sure everything is thoroughly coated. Nice dip in our egg, toss that in our panko. Nice little rub around. We'll continue this, rotating from our jalapenos and our pickle chips, from our dongs, until we are all done. We will see you there. All right guys, so we are on the last uh, pickle that I have left and I wanna show you guys a quick uh, trick that I've been doing to help not only make this process a little cleaner, faster. So we do our pickle inside of the flour, make sure we get everything coated, kind of shake off the excess in our egg wash and just kind of flipping these a few times, grabbing off, dabbing off the rest. Take our pickle inside of here and then we're gonna use a spoon, sprinkle on the top. We're gonna kind of push that down, make sure it's good and coated. And go ahead and give that a flip. We're gonna do that same thing to the other side and it gets it really good and covered. And you use that spoon, just kind of pop it out, set it right there. So, we're gonna take these, get our air fryer set up, we'll see you there. All right guys, so these are the trays that go inside of the air fryer on the bottom to hold everything in. So I've gone ahead and just sprayed these down with some vegetable oil. What I'm gonna do is place all of our pickles, jalapenos on here, pick them up, set them down inside of our actual trays. We're gonna let this thing rip for about eight to 10 minutes, 390, pull them out. They're gonna be done and phenomenal. So let's go ahead and start placing these guys over. Now with this one, it is a dual zone, so I don't have as much cooking surface. So these are gonna have to take a couple batches, but if you do have one of the larger ones, you can obviously plop all these guys inside there. You don't wanna leave a little bit of room, but I'm also trying to not spend all day waiting on these things to cook too. So with that being said, half the time, whenever you put this stuff inside of your air fryer, anyways, it all just touches as soon as you close the lid. But we do wanna leave a little bit of cooking room. So everything does cook evenly. It's jalapenos out. I'm super excited to try this because we've actually never done this with our donkey dogs. So this would be a really your ass off first on frying donkey dogs. Particularly love fried pickles and I love fried jalapenos. So what could go wrong? So we have the bottom of this guy greased. Set it right inside of there. And on this one, it just slides in like that. We'll go ahead, pop one the little pickles right there in the middle. We have that, same thing. We'll open this guy up, slide this down, and then we'll grab another one of our pickles. I can actually fit two inside of this one. Do that right there. There we go. We do have a dual cook zone. We're gonna go ahead and hit match cook. Temp is going to be air fry 390. We'll hit our time. Like I said, eight to 10 minutes is what we're shooting for. So we'll go ahead and start that right there. We'll see y'all once we hit eight minutes. Check in. All right, guys, we just had 10 minutes. Check that out right there. I would say those are perfection. So let's get these plated up and we'll see you there. 